It seems that controversies at the FIFA Qatar World Cup are refusing to die down. Travelling fans have been left fuming after it was announced that beer sales will be banned at Qatar World Cup stadiums. The move comes just 48 hours before the tournament kicks off. What we know so far is that the announcement was made after Qatar's all-powerful royal family intervened. This move has FIFA on a collision course with sponsors Budweiser, who have a multi-million dollar advertising deal. As of now, only non-alcoholic drinks will be available inside any of the eight stadiums at the World Cup. We have to follow the rules. It doesn't matter. You, you agree or you don't agree. We, we need to sort of respect the host country views about any... Every country has a particular culture. So I think the spectators here are for the game, for the, for the sports, and that's where they should uh, put their focus on it. Fans and foreigners in Qatar will be restricted to drinking in official zones where beer sales will be allowed only between certain times, with prices set around an eye-watering $14 per pint, while for the same amount, one can have a burger with fries and a soft drink. As per the new orders, from here on, alcohol will be served only at licensed hotels, restaurants, bars and designated fan zones. Alcohol will also be served at the FIFA Fan Festival between 6.30pm and 1am local time and at these festivals, World Cup sponsor and beer brand Budweiser is planning to serve a pint for just about $6. The rule change is said to have been made following a request of Sheikh Jassim bin Hamad Al Thani, the brother of Qatar's ruler. But there will be no doom and gloom if you have enough money, as the only place alcohol can now be brought in or around stadiums will be at the hospitality boxes, where the ticket starts at $22,500 per match. Those lucky enough to get a seat in the box are promised soft drinks, beer, champagne, sommelier selected wines and premium spirits both before, during and after the game. There will be sober zones for fans who drink excessively. Fans have been advised not to drink in undesignated areas and respect Qatar's culture as an Arab Muslim country. As per the laws of Qatar, one can only buy alcohol if they are over 21 years old. And beware, you must not smuggle alcohol into Qatar as you risk being fined or even be deported. Qatar has a strict policy against banned substances with the threat of arrest or being sent to prison for either possession or supply for a period of six months.